Hello, dear viewers, we have another interesting video for you, we hope you enjoy it, do not forget to subscribe and like the channel, enjoy watching. New SUV Tank 300 The tank brand belongs to the Great Wall Concern, initially it was only a family of cars included in the model range of the Way Premium sub-brand. But the demand for such machines turned out to be so great that the Chinese decided to separate it into a separate structure. So far, the tank, the company insists on this pronunciation, has only two production models, the younger 300 and the older 500, which is close in size to the Toyota Land Cruiser 300. LED low and high beam headlights, automatic high beam control and cornering lights are standard equipment. Tank 300 looks brutal. The design is without overt borrowings, but the car looks like everyone and no one at the same time. No one sees any references in its appearance from the Jeep Wrangler to the UAZ Patriot. And here there are all the attributes of a real old school rogue massive bumpers, large protruding wheel arches, square mirrors, an almost vertical windshield a spare wheel hanging behind and a side-opening tailgate with hinges outward. In the photographs, because of these obligatory external attributes of a real SUV, the 300 looks massive and monumental, but in fact the car is not very large. The overall length is comparable to the Toyota RAV4, or in modern realities with Havel Dargo, for example and the size of the wheelbase with Mitsubishi Pajero Sport or the same Dargo. The Tank 300 is 4,620mm long, excluding spare wheel, 1930mm wide, 1903mm high, and has a wheelbase of 2,750mm. For comparison, the length, width and height of the Toyota RAV4 are 4,600, 1855 and 1690 millimeters, respectively. The off-road experience continues in the interior. Large door handles, steps, handrails on the A-pillars and impeller air ducts allow Mercedes-Benz G-Class. But you can't wash the interior with a hose, of course, everything is not so utilitarian here. Quite the contrary, soft touch door panels, Napa leather seats, metal look inserts, two 12.3 inch screens in front of the driver, large buttons, plenty of pockets for small things, and even an analog clock on the front panel. It looks nice and strict, nothing clumsy. The only serious complaint about the interior is the non fixed turn signal levers, which are set up very poorly. The only thing you can complain about here is not the most expensive plastic of the front panel, electronic non-fixed turn signal levers with the most blurred intermediate positions, which are generally not clear why they were installed here, and small ranges of steering wheel adjustments. But it's not a problem to get comfortable behind the wheel, and for a long road or traffic jams, there is even a driver's seat massage and ventilation. The back row is spacious. The backrest is adjustable in two positions. Rear passengers will also be comfortable. There is virtually no central tunnel. The backrests can be adjusted according to the angle of inclination. There are heating and USB ports, and there is plenty of free space above your head and in your knees. Only the trunk is surprising in the tank. Firstly, it is tiny, and secondly, there is no luggage curtain. None at all. It is not included in the equipment of even the top-end configuration, and there is simply nowhere to install it here, even if you order some kind of similarity on AliExpress. Trunk volume 410 liters. Curtain not included in any equipment version. Now a little more about the technical features of the Tank 300. As we have already said, this is a frame SUV with independent front suspension with steel lower arms, a classic solid rear axle and basic metal protection for the engine and gearbox. And of course, no switchable anti-roll bars, pneumatics, and other potentially fragile pampering. Torsional rigidity 24,000 nm degree. 
the Tullin eyes are in the public domain and are not covered by anything. Metal protection of the motor and box is included in the standard equipment. Part-time all-wheel drive design, like that of honored off-road veterans, the front axle is rigidly connected through a transfer case with a reduction gear. It is recommended to drive in this mode only at speeds up to 80 km per hour. And this means that most of the time the Tank 300 will move on the rear-wheel drive. The off-road arsenal is controlled using a knob on the central tunnel and several buttons. There are eight electronic off-road modes that change the response to the gas pedal and traction control settings. Off-road cruise control, as, for example, on the Toyota Land Cruiser, when the car automatically maintains a set speed on the road, and even tank turn internal rear of the wheel is braked, reducing the turning radius, as they say in the company, by about 1.6 meters. Ground clearance tank 300 to 224 millimeters. The lower is activated through neutral, and separate buttons are responsible for honest locking of the rear and front differentials. In the maximum off-road mode, the car easily copes with diagonal hangings, the suspension moves are very decent, and easily makes its way through deep snow. The Tank 300 has a so-called expert mode, in which you can turn off all safety electronics except for the ABS. In Russia, only one power plant is offered for the tank a 2-liter gasoline turbo 4 with a capacity of 220 horsepower, paired with an 8-speed ZF automatic. The SUV picks up 110.6 seconds, not quickly, but in fact, the traction reserve is enough for both the city and for overtaking on the highway. You can ride this car very cheerfully. There are no complaints about the box at all, excellent settings, inconspicuous switching and fast response. The 2-liter turbo engine tank 300 is not the same as that installed, for example, on the Havel Dargo. The tank engine has a cast iron block, direct injection and variable valve timing. Asphalt roads with average damage are not the tank 300's favorite habitat. On bumps, passengers shake and toss, vibrations of unsprung masses, all patches and transverse joints are felt, but on the other hand, the SUV is great on primers. On such a coating, you can rush at a decent speed without sacrificing comfort and not even paying much attention to the pits. The energy intensity of the suspension is excellent. The SUV is prepared for the installation of a towing device. The hitch is also included in OTTS. Vibrations and shocks are not transmitted to the steering wheel. The sound insulation is excellent. Neither studded tires nor the engine can be heard and even aerodynamic noise is almost absent. The SUV handles surprisingly well. It is necessary, of course, to make allowances for a high square body and 2,230 kilograms of mass, as well as take into account inertia and buildup, which, by the way, is not so criminal. And then it turns out that the car steers very adequately, at least in bends you are not afraid for your life. Fuel consumption for the entire trip did not fall below 15 liters per hundred. The manufacturer, however, allows you to fill the car with 92, but even in this case, the numbers in the checks at gas stations are unlikely to please you. Great Wall says that the tanks will not have a diesel modification. In China, no one needs passenger cars running on heavy fuel, but the company is not going to produce such a version only for Russia. True, it is possible that in the future the model will have a hybrid power plant. But whether it will reach our market is another question. But the option with automatic connection of all-wheel drive is quite real. The Tank 300 is available in five colors, white, black, gray, orange and red. All metallic except gray. Surcharge for any of them, except white, 30,000 rubles. In the meantime, two configurations of the Tank 300 have been prepared for Russia, Adventure and Premium, 
which cost 3,699,000 and 4,049,000 rubles, respectively. The basic equipment is rich, a digital dashboard, a multimedia system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto support, heated front and rear seats, a massage driver's seat, an audio system with eight speakers and a subwoofer, keyless entry, LED headlights, heated windshield, adaptive cruise control. Control, all-round video review, rear-view camera with washer, light and rain sensors. The top version will add a locking front cross-axle differential, Napa leather trim, front seat ventilation, a 220-volt outlet in the trunk, air curtains, window tinting and an Infinity audio system. The Tank 300 is one of the most interesting Chinese vehicles in recent times. An old-school SUV with a jaunty engine, energy-intensive suspension, a pleasant interior and excellent off-road capability. Not at all like those glamorous crossovers that were brought to us before. To support our channel, don't forget to subscribe and like. You can write your comment on our video. See you soon.